Hello, everybody. Welcome to Inside Smash, the uh, Smash sports talk show. I'm joined uh, by Toka Lurker and Yole Valentine. How you guys doing today? Welcome. Ah, uh, good, man. <laughs> yeah. So a, a, lot, a lot of things happened this week. A very uh, a, a big tournament in Europe uh, occurred uh, called Syndicate. Um, good Smash 4 tourney. I uh, had some good uh, talent. I had uh, Mr. R, Rich Brown, I studying. Um, just to name a few people. Jew Drew. Jew Drew. Jew Drew. Well, we're gonna have to cut that for racism. <laughs> um, so this was actually a there tournament. Was a guy, his name was like Hold My Dick or some shit like that. Well, was it really? Remember? Oh remember, yeah. Uh, DC. <laughs> I remember. Yes, it was oh, a while yeah. back. Hold my dick. Yeah, away with the worst. <laughs> hey, hey man, it's, if it's a name, it, that's that's one of the things I love about like the media is being able to like say something. If there's like a name, like there was that fun house, like fun house video where um, they were playing. I forgot that World War One game they played, and there was the guy named like <laughs> I honestly can't say how it. It was like, <laughs> like what? It was something. It was something. It, it basically said like, like like nigga on hold or some shit like that. Yeah. And they were like, and they said it because it was some guy's name, but in most contexts of the word, because it wasn't, like, if it wasn't a name, they probably wouldn't be able to say it. <laughs> it was like nigga hours or something. Yeah. <laughs> what? It <laughs> was the worst. <laughs> yeah, besides that. Yeah. Uh, but it was, just, this was a, uh, it was a really good tournament. Um, Rich Brown, I'm pretty sure is a SoCal, SoCal guy, I what believe, um, went over there, uh, represented all the Mewtwo's. Um, he uh, first... He first uh, lost 3-2 to I studying the Greninja main, who's goddamn amazing. Basically put other Greninja mains on the map. Like, saw, like, hey, and this is this is how you play Greninja. Uh-huh. Watch I study. Making people feel like you can pick up Greninja and <laughs> do well. <laughs> yep. That's how good he is. Just wait until he gets nerfed. It makes the character look really easy. Are you kidding me? They're nerfing Greninja, too? They, they've ner- that's the joke. So that's the running joke. Is mm. He's been... So before he won anything in this game, he was nerfed. Just for no fucking reason. Like, there was no reason. Nobody, like, there were no setups or anything. So it was like, it's now a joke. So, like, you just basically oh. say, like, next patch, Nerf Greninja. Um, <laughs> and this is also a tournament that uh, Mr. R uh, finally won. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, yeah. Ah. Uh, again? Uh, Mr. Second Place. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. He's a great player. Like, no offense to him. Like, he's a great player. Just it's a big win for him. It, it is. Well, he went... This is great competition, so like I'm not going to diminish it by any means. Um, but I feel like this is definitely a step for him to hopefully win uh, an upcoming major. If he mm-hmm. hopefully maybe he goes to Abadango Saga, not sure, possibly. But next major, it would be good to see him get really far and hopefully we'll get a win because yeah. he definitely deserves it. He's one of the best sheiks out there. I really hope he makes his way out to the West Coast because the Abadango Saga is going to be stacked. It's, it's going to be. Nuts with how much talent's going to be out there. It's going to be and insane. And follow up from Syndicate, it's a great way to keep his winning streak going. There's some momentum you got to keep up when you're doing this competitive gaming stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's and it's good to always keep yourself immersed in in a lot of talent. You 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 want to make sure as a top player that you're playing against top tier talent, basically on a constant basis, so you know what you're dealing with. You can make those adjustments. You can. You can read the top players' patterns, maybe like because the more you play them, the more you're gonna get their tendencies or have character familiarity. Mm-hmm. So like, so like Anti, for instance, who so he just joined Immortals, which is like I guess a, a decent segue. It's a good um, um, fucking not. They might be giants. The people that do that radioactive. I'm building oh, up. Uh, God, uh, uh, the Imagine Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good Imagine Dragons song. Imagine Dragons makes you sick. No, it's a King of Leon song. Oh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> these songs just pop in my head, and plus the team name is pretty good. And it rolls off the tongue. Im- Immortals, Im- anti immortal. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. It's and that's that's kind of fits with the theme of like what Smash players kind of view top players as like either gods or like cunts. immortal or something like that. Cunt. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Imagine we'll just, just like the five cunts of Smash. Hey, you porn was a sponsor. So, <laughs> or the the rankings for a syndicate. 2016. Uh, the rankings. So, we'll, so Mr. R won Grand Finals. He beat uh, Rich Brown on a clean 3-0. Just was able to just download him. Rich Brown did very well. He, mm. he played his heart out. It just it was just one of, it was just one of those sets where you get really really close and then you just can't close it. Like that's just what happened. And then Mr. Uh, R was able to take advantage multiple times. Yeah, and it's, and that's and but that's the, that's a sign of a top player. Um, Anti had a tweet that basically said. 
what makes you a great player is being able to micro adjust as you play the game. Mm -hmm. So being able to like understand how well you're spacing certain moves and going, all right, well, I'm not spacing this well enough, so I'm going to make a slight adjustment. Or I see that they're jumping too much, so next time that they jump and do an approach, I'll use an anti-air. Like, stuff like that in the middle. And he was just able to kind of download Rich Brown as, as he went on. Yeah. Mm. I think I noticed some watching also. A lot of players might take the time to go rest, run their hands under hot water, get their wrists not tense anymore. Mm-hmm. But Mr. I think he stuck around. He was at the edge of the camera, peeping like a creeper. <laughs> so I'm watching a lot of matches that were occurring. So He's hungry. That probably helped him download them a bit. Oh, absolutely. That, that's I feel like that's a great tool to have. And especially if you're like, that's that's probably more like we I mean, we went to a tournament. I guess we could watch a bunch of oh, yeah. friendlies and whatever. Yeah, we'll talk about that a little, a little bit. But I, I, I'm wondering, like, I feel like as a top player, they definitely see more stuff than you or I will mm-hmm. see. They will just see little, little tendencies that people do. I'm like, you can, as we've been playing this game, we're starting to see more patterns. Um, but I, I feel like the way the top players see it is, it, it's almost like everything slows down. It's like the way that like, like NBA players describe a game where it's like when they get in a certain zone, everything just slows down and they yeah. just know exactly what you're going to do no matter what you do. Yeah. It's disturbing. Gotta get in that zone. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, so we got um freaking, <laughs> I hate to say it, mm-hmm. shouts out to the Wario mains. Oh, man. What? They're yeah. not dead yet? Gluttony. <laughs> Gluttony's a... You know what? That's a fitting name for Wario. <laughs> <laughs> he, he used Wario slash Captain Falcon. Ah. And we, we had no copies. Yeah. A Sheik, a Wario, Mewtwo, Grey Ninja, Bayonetta... Uh, this shouldn't count because Griffith used three characters. Holy crap. <laughs> he used Bayonetta, ZSS, and Mario. But yeah. then yeah, a Sonic, Carlos. Cloud, Meta Knight. Yeah. We didn't have a bunch of Sheiks in Grand Finals or anything like that. It was a pretty much uh, individual characters being used in the top eight. That's good. Yeah, That's diversity, good. y'all. I love it. That's what's so good about Smash 4. I've, I've talked about this with you guys. I've talked about this with a few people um, on Twitter and stuff like that. I think what makes this game so great is that there are so many good characters in this game. And there are so many players, because it's a brand new game, it's only been around for about a year now, It's it's... It, it, it lends itself to having more people be able to take a top spot. Like, like, so we saw Zero go on that extremely... I think he won 56 tournaments in a row. Whoa. Something yeah. like that. That's nuts. Like, that's fucking crazy, and that's hard to match. Um, but now it's starting to kind of, like, balance itself out. Ally won a few in a row. Uh, Larry Lurs won, like, a couple. Um, well, that's just off the top of my head. Like, Anti won uh, CEO. Uh, Kamimushi went second with a Mega Man. Like, Oi! yeah, dude, oh, dude, the Japanese are are nuts. They're nuts at this game. It's I like. <laughs> well, so we we he, he so uh, Toby tweeted at me to watch Shi Gaming, Shy Gaming. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, Shi Gani or some something. Yeah, like yeah that. it was kind of like Umahara. I can't remember what the fucking tournament's name is. I'm butchering all of this. I apologize. Um, but watching those players is unbelievable because they think of options that you would never think of, and they also we were talking about the micro adjustments. They're the best at that. They recognize that stuff so quickly mm-hmm. that I feel like Americans get in this this habit of going into autopilot or getting too aggressive. And Japanese people just stay so patient. Very they, defensive. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Well, I was going to say something, but it, I don't feel like it's not the best way to describe it. I was going to mm-hmm. say, uh, you know, not lame, but mm-hmm. slow. No, and I wouldn't say lame at all. They kind of make you play their speed. That's un- it's unfortunate because the word lame it gets represented by a shitty way of playing by a lot of players, mm-hmm. moment, whether it be Marvel, Street Fighter, fucking Tekken. But it's a strategy. It's it where you go. Yeah, Fuck it just sounds nutrition. highly, highly ca- calculated <laughs> yeah, type of gameplay. Exactly. Oh yeah. Well, and and people also, it's there's a lot of negative connotations. Like, and part of be playing that type of style is. What, what a lot of people also have a negative connotation called spamming mm-hmm. which it isn't spamming when it's a projectile which it's called zoning yeah. it's mm-hmm. called making a long range poke it's for, forcing your opponent to do something and to react it's that sweet sweet meat in the can <laughs> 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 the fuck yo <laughs> spam oh my god I just got it I was like I was like where in the world <laughs> Oh my god I thought you were talking about potted meat for a second uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> fuck Oh, so have it prolonged life ex- uh, life expectancy, whatever mm-hmm. lifespan, lifespan, <laughs> uh-huh. so spam, uh-huh. lifespan, spam, spam, coincidence? I think not. You 
need it when you need it. <laughs> so uh, what's the next tourney coming up for Smash Fizzo? Uh, so I, I think it is Abadango song. It uh, should be yeah, coming up yeah. extremely soon. Um, and so the people are going. Uh, so Abadango and Koma Rikiri, I think, are going. Mm-hmm. Um, then we got so Wadi's going, a great Mewtwo main from MDVA. He's... And, and so what's crazy about Wadi, I just want to rant about him for like a quick second. This dude, I was listening to the Xanadu uh, this week, mm-hmm. and they basically said Wadi does not know a ton about this game. Like, he's not as well-versed in this game as like a lot of the commentators. Like, he doesn't know all the frame beta. He doesn't mm-hmm. know... Like, like maybe he doesn't know matchups. I'm sure he's learning them, and I'm sure yeah. he knows some. Like, no, this is not a knock on him. It just shows how crazy good he is that... He doesn't even need to know about every like aspect of this game, and he could still completely kick your ass and yeah. download you in a second. Damn, yeah, it, some, it, some people it's easier. Yeah, exactly. It's natural. <laughs> it really is. Um, it's not real easy for them. Yeah, I uh, we have we have played some people like uh, like Cringe, for instance. Mm-hmm. That like I I've been playing with him for the past couple of days with um another with a guy who I mean I mean Ryu, and I've been playing with a guy who also means Ooh. Ryu. So we do hey hey. He's a wandering warrior. Don't you hate on it? Don't yeah. you hate? I mean, wandering wolf. thinking like, whoops. Your range is one fish short. Um, uh, knuckle shuffle. <laughs> Look it up, kids. That sounds <laughs> extremely dirty. It's extremely dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely dirty. <laughs> um, so playing against Cringe, I get so frustrated because with with... With the other Ryu main Papas, I can I feel like I can kind of get a hold on what his pattern is, and then I can like we, like we'll we'll trade off like two stocks, or sometimes we'll go cl- or like two stocking somebody, and sometimes we'll go close. But with Cringe, it'll get close, and then like he's like ally. Mm-hmm. He'll I'll take a stock off him in the second stock, and like let's say I am still up a stock. The next two stocks on like for me is the hardest fucking shit. Ever, I cannot close him out. It's so frustrating. He's knocking on you. It's cr- it's crazy. Pressure. Only seventeen, and it's just like he has that reaction time. Mm-hmm. He just he doesn't have to think as hard because of that stuff. Like he just he has to think. It's not like he doesn't, but it's like he can just almost just react. Yeah, but also I feel like they have a lot more time to put into it. Also, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't forget uh, a certain person in this room was guilty of not coming to school because a certain brawl campaign mode. Left him stuck to his chair at the house. <laughs> <laughs> Call it. Hey, man. Subspace of Missy Area is fucking amazing. That was the greatest Smash campaign ever. And at the same time, it helped you hone your skills. Oh, yeah. So these, these fools, no offense, cringe, uh, they have <laughs> Wi Fi, better internet than we have with the Nintendo Wii mm-hmm. to go around and play each other and get a lot better. Mm-hmm. That's uh, a better time to be a competitive gamer. Oh yeah, because you have so many outlets you can look towards to get better and improve your skills. There really is. It's 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 great. It's like a great esports time. arena. It's oh, dude, that's a. I love that venue. I, I can't wait to go back to that place. You and know, we're all going to go to the Foundry time. one day. <laughs> we're all going to the Foundry. We're all going to get drunk and play some melee. Back to the Bay Area. Yeah, let's do it. Two G G Abadango. So here's a, here's a topic that I find interesting because it can be it's, it's this is one of the things that I love about Smash 4 is that we kind of said that there's not really a, a hold on who's the best character in this game mm. but people still make tier lists with their own opinion yeah. <laughs> and one of them being that Rosalina is apparently the best in the game of course Woo! The hero fuck off you uh, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and you play that you know, fuck that character are, so, you, are, are you gonna what are you gonna go back are you gonna uh, uh, let's say what about Rosalina I don't know. I'm kind of waiting. I was kind of just testing my waters with other characters, but like everyone keeps talking about Rosalina. Mm-hmm. I have my favorites, and she isn't one of them, but she is one of my characters. Yeah, you are pretty good with her. So I don't know. I may, may revisit that and actually practice that. I, I, what do you like about her? Is it the hair? No. <laughs> is it the eyes? No. He's attracted to the star. Is I just love tits? her ample <laughs> bosoms. I know, so it yeah, is. So it is a tits. Stop it's it. a tits. Stop it. You all stop it. No. I just, God. she's a great character. I she think she's well versed. out of her cooter. Uh, right? <laughs> when she flips up in the air and does yeah, the front her, flip. You know what they call her anus? The black hole. <laughs> <laughs> it, I understand where a lot of people are coming from. I mm. mean, the result speaks for itself, but... Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many Rosalina mains are out there getting like top Ooh. ten? Mm-hmm. Um, besides the booze, not not many. I mean, there's the uh, God. I can't. I I feel terrible because now I can't remember his name. 
Uh, there's a Japanese Rosalina who's a little more aggressive, mm-hmm. um, who consistently makes pretty like high placings, and okay. that's true. But then there's that's pretty, and then like Zaltus is another one mm-hmm. who's really good, um, and then that's like off the top of my head. I know there's others, but I literally can't think of them. And and that's been a point of a lot of other top players that have disputed that of her being the best player is that there aren't many people that play her, and the only evidence that we see that she's good is DeBuzz. And DeBuzz is extremely defensive, which it kind of it does make this game like this game is more defensive. You have to be patient and you have to kind of bait stuff out in this game as opposed to melee, where it's like you just get one hit and you can zero to death them. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it does like Rosalina, Rosalina probably has the strongest wall defensive game, yeah, but like easily like his because Luma takes most of the hits. She's got a projectile that can space. You can basically throw out Luma anywhere on the stage and get. You know, you can get a, a tilt to Rosa getting into a smash attack. You can get all these crazy setups. Yeah, and she's two on one almost all the damn time. Well, and she absorbs projectiles. <laughs> she can even be like a good doubles character because I forgot she can do this. With her down B, the, the projectile that she absorbs still has its hitbox active. Oh, what the wow. hell? Yeah, so let's say you absorb a Lucario fully charged aura, aura ball. It, it can go around, and, and if you're near it, you can still get hit by it. <laughs> you get hit by like yeah, it's bull, right. What's the use? <laughs> what the hell? I it's, love it. It's insane. I hate it. It's yeah, and she's 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 just got a great gimping game, and she could kill somebody at like ninety with her up air. Like I'm announcing it now, Rosalima. Please, don't. Rosalina. Please don't, Rosalima. So Rosalima, you get Rosa, it? Rosalima. Rosalima. She's from Lima. Rosalima, no. Peru. It's Rosalina and Peru. Luma. Rosalina and Luma. Rosalima. <laughs> Is now my main. Roll the Lima. Anyway. That's what I call him. <laughs> I want to show you more Lucario things so I can change your fucking mind. Get so out. We'll, be back. <laughs> we'll be back with you guys. Enjoy the top 10 highlights that Bad Inputs picks for this week's Inside Smash. We'll see you guys after Abadango Saga. Bye. Howdy. Patrick, again, he got the up tilt on this Rob. And. Oh my! Man, that was such a great save by Nin. It four. Just yet. That was weird. I mean, I'm trying to figure out why he went for the uh, fourth. I mean, that must have been a tech error because I feel like an up air might have actually killed right that's there. That's why. Yeah, that's why I was. You know, oh! oh! Spring ride. Simone Biles right there, man. Spring ride. Get that gold medal. I ain't mad at you. I'm saying, man, he got himself a chaos emerald off that one. Three. So went on complete defensive, knowing that. Oh, <laughs> right there, though. <laughs> a bomb right in front of the face. Okay, the accuracy is extremely on point coming from Mecha now. Ha <laughs> It's just nice. Uppy. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> what? Wow. I was like, okay, the Uppy's over. No, what? <laughs> it was like, wait a second, I'm sorry. Here's the hitbox. Two. Rich feels it, it just looks like Rich is kind of Oh my goodness! Woo! Oh. Reed! Reed! He's not here to win, he is here to dominate! He was making advanced physics look like physics 101. What on earth was that? One! Shouldn't be too flustered by this. Still got a pretty decent lead right here. Oh my god, the catch? Oh, something crazy right here. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! Oh, but Pink Fresh god. says yes. Oh my god. Pink Fresh says yes. Talk about conversion. This, is, this man is a professor, okay? Because that was a high level conversion right there. Oh my god. Huh.